Hi. Um, so my wonderful artists today, what I want to talk to you about is your professional practices. Um, and I think a big part of seeming professional is when you arrive at a show to hang your work, um, you want to have your work actually ready to hang. Um, it's always one of those things where I think it's frustrating for curators or people who manage galleries if folks come and they don't have any kind of hanging wire on the back of their piece. And it's especially bad if they show up, drop off the painting, and then it's like, how are we supposed to hang this? Um, some people like those little sawtooth hangers. I find them to be flimsy and difficult to attach to things. Everybody has their own preferences, but this is hands down my favorite way to um, put hanging wire and hanging rings on artwork. So what you're going to need is just a very basic setup like this. So I've got D rings here and you can see that they're held in place by a screw. Um, and then I've got a little bit of hanging wire here on the back. And so we're just going to use a hook and hang off of there. Um, and you don't have to worry, it'll, you can level it out. So um, let's take a look at those together. So these D-rings are by Ook. Um, they're great and they come with a screw and the lovely like little D-ring right there. Um, I always buy them in a value pack because otherwise you pay so much for just a couple of them. I make a lot of paintings and so I'm like, these are so handy. I like to have a lot of them in place. Let's take a closer look at that so that it's not intimidating in any way. So each uh, D-ring has a flat side and then a spot where there's a little bit of a downslope. So we don't want to put it, we don't want to screw it onto the canvas with the downslope against the canvas. Instead, we want to do it flat side against the canvas. So that would look like something like that. Okay, so you're going to notice if you can see the total height of the painting, that I definitely went uh, and put the D-rings in the upper part of the canvas. This is really important because if we get a little bit um, laxed and we hang it towards the center, they hang in really funny ways, like they can tip forward and it really doesn't look very good. So you definitely want to be in the upper part of the canvas, but an important part of being in the upper part of the canvas is not being so close to the top that all of a sudden your hook is showing from the front. That really doesn't look good. So you might have a piece and then all of a sudden, like right up here, you've got part of the hook showing. No, we want to make sure that it's totally concealed behind there. Now you're just going to take the D-rings, and I just measure with a ruler so that I get them approximately at the right spot. But really, if they're slightly off from each other, it's not going to be a problem. And then I screw them into place, just lay the painting face down, right? Oil painters, you cannot do this when your painting is wet. You've got to have forethought and get this maybe on even before you start working. It's a nice way to do it. But so you're just going to hand screw it on there. If you find that there's a lot of resistance, it might be because there's a knot in the, in the um, stretcher bars. Um, I might recommend changing my position a little bit then, or consider um, if you're really having a hard time with it, just use a drill. But I always use my hand and it's fine. Um, and so once you've got the two D rings there, they'll probably be facing up. Um, and then you're gonna add your hanging wire like I have here. So hanging wire, I have two for you to see today, also by book. Uh, one is a 50 and one is a 30, and that's probably in both cases way more uh, weight accommodation than you are ever going to need, but it's nice to know that your piece is going to actually stay on the wall. Um, so let's see here.
I just want you to be able to just sort of see this process. Um, basically what you do is you take the hanging wire and you go out just a couple inches beyond the end of your um, canvas in total. And then you're going to take a wire clipper and clip there. And you want to have just a few extra inches on each side. With those few extra inches, you're going to take your wire through the um, D-ring and you're just going to give it a pinch so that it's looking like this. And I was always like, oh no, am I going to have to make a complicated knot? Like how will I ever accomplish putting a hanging wire on here? I delayed doing this for years. It was absolutely insane because it's so easy. Literally all you do is just a nice tight twist so that it looks like this. No knot needed, no nothing. And then at the very end, just be sure to watch your fingers. Sometimes people are like, ow, I'm bleeding, right? This is a wire we're working with and it will poke you. Um, so you're going to do this and then you're going to do exactly the same thing on the other side. Of course, this is already attached to your canvas when you're doing this. Do, I'm just, I'm just sampling for you, right? You put the D rings on first and then you twist, but from there, just tighten and twist. It works so well. I've never had a single one of these fall off. You just have to make sure you have a nice twist. Um, so you're going to notice that I have like this hanging wire. It's actually a braided wire and it makes it so strong and so stable. And I have hung off of just a simple wire and I find that, um, I don't think mine has ever broke, but I th feel like I've seen ones that are very thin and I feel like you're just sort of, I don't know, there's so many things we can get away with. If you need to get away with something, get away with it, but that this is a really quality investment as far as hanging goes. Okay, so if you get into any questions while you are situating your D-rings and or and or twisting your wire. I mean, look at that twist. That is such a lazy twist back there. The hanging wire isn't even on both sides. Doesn't matter, everyone. You're fine. Um, again, I would probably have wired this a little bit more carefully if this was one of my larger paintings. Okay, I wish you luck. You can always email me at any time. I'm here to answer your questions. We can get on and zoom together if you start putting on D-rings and you're having a problem.